In 1981 Simone moved to France to teach ballet as a professor of classical dance and artistic pedagogy, a position which he held for almost two decades, at various conservatoires, including the Marius Petipa Conservatory, the Gabriel Fauré Conservatory and the W.A. Mozart Conservatory. He was also later president of the Khmer Dance Association there. He lived in France for nearly 20 years and continued his pursuit in the arts, including establishing Ballet Deva, an original dance troupe, in which he served as its general manager and artistic director, alongside heading the Royal Khmer Cinematic Corporation. During this time, he undertook monkhood under the auspices of Samdak Borkrai, who would later become a supreme patriarch of Cambodia. In the early 1990s, Cambodia's Supreme National Council, which was recognized by United Nations Security Council Resolution 668 as part of the transitional process in the country pursuant to the 1991 Paris Peace Agreements, unanimously selected Prince Simoni as its permanent representative to the United Nations. The year 1993 saw the prince being appointed Cambodia's permanent representative to UNESCO in Paris, a role he held right until he became king in 2004. In this role he became known for his hard work and devotion to Cambodian culture. He had previously refused an appointment as Cambodia's ambassador to France The king rarely gets involved in the Cambodian political space, in conformance with his position as a constitutional monarch and is considered to be above politics. Some Cambodian opposition figures, however, have called for him to be more vocal and directly involved in the political issues of the country, like his predecessor, King Father Norodom Sihanouk was, contending that the king has the constitutional prerogative to do so, in terms of powers accorded to him. Conversely, others have cautioned against this notion, citing that the constitution strictly warrants for a predominantly ceremonial monarch that reign, but shall not govern, noting that resorting to political intervention is neither in the long-term interests of the monarchy nor nation, and Simony since the outset of his reign, has pledged and adhered to a largely apolitical stance. Indeed, during the monarchical selection process, King Sihanouk touted then Prince Simoni's neutral and impartial approach to politics as a key trait for why he is suited to the role. This is reinforced by analysis from observers that Simoni has represented both continuity and change withdrawing royalty from active politics, but advancing it as a symbol of national reconciliation, thereby restoring the monarchy's traditional role as an umbrella under which Cambodians could unite. Hence, this limits any politicization of the monarchy as an institution whilst maintaining its neutrality as well as legitimacy, especially amid the context of the sometimes controversial and turbulent nature of Cambodian politics in 2006. At the government's petition, he granted a pardon to leading opposition politicians, namely Sam Rainsy and Shim Chani, who originally had their parliamentary immunity in Eld and were facing charges viewed as politically motivated. In regards to Rainsy, he was embroiled in a legal dispute with Prime Minister Hun Sen, over the 1997 grenade attack incident on a political rally, which injured Rainsy, as he was giving a speech. He had accused Prime Minister Sen of being involved, an accusation that the Prime Minister denies, though Rainsy later expressed regret in making the claim. As for Chani, he was designated as a prisoner of conscience by Amnesty International, where he was convicted for fraud and in attempting to conspire to overthrow the government. At the time, the move by Simoni was founded to be encouraging by international observers as it indicated a conciliatory gesture that points to a reduction of political tensions and restoration of multi-party democracy in the country in 2009. Simoni upon reviewing the appeals made to him for a pardon to be granted to an opposition-affiliated journalist and editor, Hang Chakra who was jailed on charges of criminal disinformation, petitioned the government to support his potential decision to grant a royal pardon. This was viewed as a rather interesting move, as usually pardon requests are submitted by the government to the king for approval and rarely ever vice versa. This request was reportedly rejected by the government for reasons not stated, but it was eventually later accepted, of which Simoni went on to grant a full pardon to Chakra in 2010 inches the lead up to the 2013 Cambodian general election, Simoni at the request of the government, granted a royal pardon which enabled then opposition leader Sam Rainsy who had been in self-imposed exile since 2009, to partake in the election which was welcomed by the United Nations. 100-101 prior to the pardoning, Rainsy had founded himself in legal jeopardy once again due to another politically motivated charge brought against him arising from an incident in 2009. 102 when the election outcome became disputed between the ruling Cambodian People's Party CPP and opposition Cambodian National Rescue Party CNRP. The subsequent aftermath resulted in the 
2014 Cambodian protests. Consequently, in what is regarded as the first time he had intervened directly to try to resolve a political dispute, the king attempted to play a mediating role and urged for national reconciliation, by exercising his moral authority to facilitate talks between the two party leaders, Rainsi and Prime Minister Hun Sen, imploring a de-escalation of tensions and for the parties to find common ground towards a resolution regarding their issues, which eventually they settled. After this, Simony encouraged the two sides to continue to work together for the sake of stability, development and national unity and for a time, there was a culture of dialogue between the rival political parties. This period of dialogue was relatively short-lived as tensions soon manifested again that culminated in the dissolution of the CNRP in late 2017 and the reallocation of the party seats that they won in the 2013 elections to all their political parties in concurrence with the gradual persecution of members associated with CNRP. The king is a bachelor and has no children. As Cambodia is not a hereditary monarchy, but rather an elective monarchy, his future successor will be determined by the royal council of the throne, chosen from the lineage of one of the two royal houses of Cambodia, in accordance with the country's constitution. His parents, King Father Norodom Sihanouk and Queen Mother Norodom Mananith, when questioned about Siamoni's marital status, once remarked that he was uninterested in relationships and is instead rather committed to a monastic way of life, underpinned by Buddhist principles. In some respects, Siamoni is regarded somewhat as an enigmatic figure, with the available literature pointing to a reflective, deliberate and cultured man who apparently had reservations in becoming king, yet in spite of this, humbly assumed the solemn responsibility of his position, whilst holding his cards close to his chest. Whilst Norodom Siamoni Khmer Noradam C. Hamoni N. Ro D. M. S. J. Hamoni born May 14, 1953 is King of Cambodia. He became king on October 14, 2004, a week after the abdication of his father, Norodam Sihanouk. 1. He is the eldest son of Norodam Sihanouk and former queen consort Norodam Mananith and was Cambodia's ambassador to UNESCO, prior to his selection by a nine-member throne council to become the next king. Before ascending to the throne, Siamoni was educated in Czechoslovakia and was best known for his work as a cultural ambassador in Europe and as a classical dance instructor. Siamoni was born on Thursday, May 14, 1953, in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. His given name Siamoni comprises two morphemes from his parents' given names Sihanouk and Mananith. At the time of his birth and that of his younger brother, his mother Monique Izzy, a Khmer citizen of French, Corsican and Khmer ancestry had been one of King Norodom Sihanouk's consorts after being a constant companion since the day they met in 1951, when she won first prize in a national beauty contest. The queen was granted the title of Nik Moniang in the name of Mononith at the time of her marriage to King Norodom Sihanouk in 1952. Furthermore, Queen Mononith is a step-granddaughter of the late Prince Norodom Dwang Chakra of Cambodia, and the daughter of Pom Ping and of her second husband, Jean Francois Z, a Corsican banker. Siamoni has 14 half-brothers and half-sisters by his father his only full sibling, a younger brother, Sam Dick Norodumner and Drapong, was born in 1954 and died in 2003 The then Prince Siamoni first began his education in 1959, where he attended Norodum School, followed by Lycée Descartes School in Phnom Penh, developing a keen interest in the arts early on in his life. In 1962 the young Siamoni was sent to Prague in the former Czechoslovakia by his father to study abroad. There, he completed his early education at Majakovsko Primary School and later at Ostrovny Elementary School. When he was in his pre-adolescence years, he starred in a production of Pyotr Tchaikovsky's The Nutcracker at the prestigious Prague National Theatre, where he pursued private ballet and piano classes and was once even selected for a television rendition of Brunda Bauer, a well-known children's opera. He then concluded his secondary education at the National Prague Conservatory and was regarded as an able student getting high marks. Here, he further developed his interest in the performing arts, undertaking courses in this field and excelling at the top of his class. Furthermore, he attained great fluency in Czech. A movie directed by Vladimir Sis was shot about the prince in Prague in 1967, under the name The Other Little Prince Jiny Molly Prank. Ten the prince would occasionally visit his homeland for holidays of which when he did, he involved himself in Cambodia's arts and cultural scene including starring in a film made by his father and performing ballet. During the 1970 Cambodian coup d'état by Long Nal, Siamoni remained in Czechoslovakia. Between 1971 and 1975, 
Simone completed his higher education in classical dance and music at the Academy of Performing Arts in Prague, culminating with the attainment of a master's degree for which he wrote a thesis titled The Conception and Administration of Artistic Schools in Cambodia. After graduation in 1975 he left Prague and began to study filmmaking in North Korea however, in 1976, Simone was forced to come back to Cambodia after having been deceived by the Khmer Rouge with a forged telegram, undersigned by King Si and ordering his return. 1213 Immediately, the ruling Khmer Rouge regime headed by Pol Pot turned against the monarchy, and put the royal family including Simone, his brother Prince Norodom Narendra Pong, his mother Queen Norodom Mananith, his father King Norodom Sihanouk under house arrest in the royal palace during much of the period of democratic Kampuchea. The consequent Cambodian genocide saw several members of the wider royal family killed and Siamoni and his immediate family lived in daily fear for their lives, effectively shut off from the outside world. With the 1979 Vietnamese invasion, which ousted the Khmer Rouge, the family was airlifted to China and Siamoni subsequently worked as a secretary for his father. Moni subsequently